right, good morning everybody. So it's 5.45. Um, we actually just left camp. We got up about 5 o'clock. Um, got out of there a little bit earlier than we wanted to actually, which was nice. Chef's back here. Uh, she's done this twice. So Chef's back here at camp. Um, and there's some weird rules. She's got to be like out of there today and in a new spot. It's just kind of crazy, but none of that matters. What matters is we are on hoof and we're heading up to do Summit Sub Dome or a Half Dome. What do we got? Eight miles? Round trip, it's like 16. So eight miles up, eight back. So yeah, 4,000 foot climb. 4,000 foot climb, eight miles up, eight miles back. We're going up and back and then uh, we'll, get out of here. we'll get out of here and get back on trail. So this is just about got ran over by a crazy bicyclist out in the middle of the woods. You know, this is awesome. A little surreal. I've seen pictures of Half Dome. I've, I've watched videos, and never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I would do it. It's not one of those. It's not one of those to-do lists, you know. But uh, here we are. We're definitely living out loud even though we're kind of whispering because we don't want to wake up other campers. So. Good morning everybody. So we're about two and a half, three miles into the hike up to Half Dome. And uh, that's what I'm looking at. There's about a million people out here being the 4th of July weekend. That's okay. Just not used to it. Here comes a damn jackrabbit running up the trail. <laughs> All right, so I'm a little higher up now. This is Vernal Falls, from what I was told, and this is called the Mist Trail. And he got so wet down there. I see why. Epic adventure, folks. Oh, pretty lucky guy. Hey, everybody. So, man, it has been straight up. I'm sweating so bad. Problem is, we're lower elevation. It's hot and it's humid. Oh. So, we're, this first fall is over right at the end of this walkway. All right, what do so, we think? We're probably three miles into it, maybe? Uh, maybe two. I'm gonna say this is one dash one, first of all. Okay. One dash two is coming up, and then it goes flat for a while. <laughs> video and you, video and me. <laughs> yeah. All right, after you, right up there, man. All right. Oh. <sighs> Won't be so bad, but we've got heavy packs on because the rule says we have to technically camp up here one night, but I don't think I think we're going to, but we have to carry the packs. What do you say, LOL? Oh, live out loud, baby. Live out loud. So that's what we, we just came up. All up through here, straight up. Here, let me see your phone. Here, I'll take a picture of you guys. Yeah. Everybody say cheese. All right. See if I. Oh, hold on. There we go. There we go. Dude, you gotta smile, man. Act like you're having fun. All right. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. There it is. Hey, welcome back. So, 
a little bit farther up the half dome trail in the Yos from the yosemite valley up just went by the big waterfall i forget what it was called again doesn't matter it doesn't mind and now we're going across this cool bridge Zigzag back through there. Okay, through the, that yeah. little crevice. Yeah. And we think there's the top of Half Dome right up there. Back on the tree. Yep. Man, I'll tell you, today I'm feeling every bit of 48 years old. Wow. Ah, I'm sweating. Oops, there goes my glasses again. I'm sweating like it's going out of style. Oh, but well, look at that. Nevada Falls. Ah! Tell you, when I get home, find me a brand new pair of Oakleys. <laughs> when you hike, you do a lot of thinking. You know, a lot of soul searching, self reflection, you know, uh, planning for the future, thinking about the past. Even though the past should be left in the past, there's nothing you can do about it, whether it was a success or a failure, move on. But you do a lot of thinking and uh, self, self, you know, self reflection of your, your life and what what you've accomplished, maybe what you haven't accomplished, and uh, you learn a lot about yourself. I gotta admit, I've learned a lot about myself. When I came out here, you know, type A personality, successful in school and college and then work and rising you know to a level of a supervisor a respected supervisor in a one of the premier police departments in the state of Utah and in the western United States I came out here pretty cocky and 940 miles or so later I've learned <laughs> I really don't know much and quite honestly <laughs> quite honestly in the grand scheme of things I'm not that important that's a good thing you know, um, I won't say I'm I'm humble because I don't think I am, but I'm just not that important. I'm just a guy in this world trying to do my best, and I'm opening up to you folks, friends, family, and strangers alike, because I promised. I would always keep it real. So that's kind of what's been going. Oh man. <sighs> Sorry. I really can't see any negative at all from what I've done and what I've learned, what I'm doing. I'm keeping it real.
going on? Just chilling, huh? We were here the first time we got here so late in the day, the ranger goes, I wouldn't go up there if I was the other one at home. She was like three or four o'clock. Did you still go? She's like, yeah. She, she goes, if you go, it's up to you. She didn't ask for this. She just said, I advise you. There it is. I gotta be honest with everybody out there. I've always said I'd keep it real. I'd be honest, regardless of my emotions. And I gotta be honest with you, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you got people kind of scurrying up. That's mid dome. You see them up on top, and then it kind of saddles out. And then I'm gonna go to that very top, way up there on half dome unbelievable uh, had no idea that was gonna be this epic it just demands respect look at this seeing what I'm seeing hmm. some of my harsh realities are hitting me I just don't know how you top this all right off to half dome so we're going to the check station now look like Schmeck is fine Schmeck is checking us in okay yeah I saw that okay, so I, I grew up in South Carolina so. I'm about a third of the way up half their sub dome. Legs are just burning. That won't do it justice. Even when you're on it, you're looking straight up. I'm just, I'm just hoping that the camera does just, even if it just does one tenth of the justice, you get the idea. 